Howdy everyone, Nintendi TV here with some more Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury. Last episode, we were absorbed by Majin Buu, except not really, he didn't completely absorb us, we're just stuck inside his body. This episode, we're gonna find a way out, so let's do this. There's not that much left to explore of this place. Ooh, hello, Super Elixir. I believe that's the second best energy healing item in the game, so yeah, always a good thing. But yeah, we're taking a look at the map, there's not that many rooms left. I mean, it's all just one long narrow passageway through Boo's intestines. So yeah. And we can get some experience here by fighting these occasional red blood cells here. Oh, we're gonna right. This room here is the start of the closest thing this game has to a boss rush. So, let's go. Hey boys, you're alive. Well, and well, let's get out of here. I can read. The sooner, the better. Yeah, it's not actually. Okay, I can't scan go tanks. It's not actually go tanks or trunks or go ten. It's somehow the inner workings of Majin's boot or Majin Buu's body that's causing this. And sweet level up. Cool. And if we proceed on to the next room, we can see that the real trunks and go ten are right here. Now. I am going to quickly switch over to Goku because the way I'm going to be doing this boss rush is I'm going to be fighting the enemies as Goku and Vegeta, uh, as Goku and Vegeta fought them. So I will switch over to Goku and I will see you in a couple seconds. Okay, I am now Goku, so let's proceed on. And in this room we have Gohan. Is that you? Wait, I can tell by looking in your eyes. You're not Gohan. You're a fake. Um, can't really see his eyes because the the health and energy bars are kind of covering that, but yeah. Our next fight is against a fake Gohan, even though the scatter will count him as Gohan. And he has nowhere near as much HP as... Or the real Gohan has nowhere near as much HP as fake Gohan here. Which is a shame, but oh well. How does it feel, Goku? Get to beat up a fake version of your son? I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure Goku wouldn't actually do that, right? Sorry, Gohan. And, of course, in this room... ...is the real Gohan. I wonder, can we scan him? No. Okay, that- whoop, did not mean to do that. Also, since we beat Gohan... If we go back into this room, we'll notice that we rescued Goten and Trunks from their pod things. Anyways, I'm going to switch back to Vegeta for this. Oh. What was that? We got Z armor. Okay then, it's armor that constantly heals you. That's pretty cool, was not expecting that. Interesting. Okay, back in the Gohan room, let's proceed on and fight our next enemy here, which is a fake Piccolo. Yep, we're rescuing all the people that Majin Buu absorbed. Okay then. And this is the closest thing we'll ever get to a Vegeta and Piccolo fight, because they've never fought. Which is strange, but okay then. Come on, and you know what? Let's... Why not? Final Flash you. There. Also, that's his uh, death animation from Legacy of Goku 2. Which is pretty neat. Well, that's all of them. Let me just... Um... Eh... Yeah, sure, why not? Let's alternate to Goku. Just so he can have some screen time here. And we're in the brain. Okay then. Can you feel it? Freeing those pods is making Boo's power level decrease dramatically. Yeah, he's changing back to normal. What a difference. Now let's bless our way out. Wait a second, Vegeta. Even though he's a lot weaker now, we're still no match for him. There's only one way you can win. 
Let me guess, it's a word that starts with F and ends with N, am I right? Hey, good guess! No way, I'm not gonna do another fusion with you. That dance, it's not fit for a Saiyan warrior even though you did it before. It's too... Prissy, where's your dignity? Come on, Vegeta, it's not like anyone will see us. Kakarot, look ahead, you're not gonna believe this. It's Majin Buu in his original form. Yes, I can see that, but what does this mean? Who knows, how can he absorb himself? It doesn't make sense. Wow, this is deep. These are all fascinating questions. However, I have a question of my own. Why haven't you jerks been absorbed yet? He just shows up out of nowhere. What? How can you be inside your own body? You freaks, you're mine! And we have the last fight here against... Good old fashioned regular Super Boo. There's a lot of HP here. Um... Why not? Let's go Super Saiyan here. Actually... You have to be level 155 for the Saiyan armor? Or the Z armor? Dang. Anyways, let's let's fight him. Yeah, this is the last boss of this area. And come on. Oh, you you're actually uh doing quite a number on me. Well Ha, I have that. I missed. Stop moving. And for good old fashioned measure, let's do that. Did I win? No? You saw you're still alive? Come on. Okay, I win. No, what have you done? I'm not gonna be me anymore. Do you understand? What are you babbling about? This isn't good. We have to get out of here, Kakra. I think I can see daylight through that hole up ahead. And we have to escape from Majin Buu. Yep. Okay then, I guess we're freeing you too. Or maybe you're just gonna stay inside here, but let's leave. What a revolting experience. Ah, oh, Vegeta, it wasn't that bad. Speak for yourself, Kakarot. You notice know, something funny? Yeah, how can his power level be increasing instead of decreasing? If this keeps up, he'll be stronger than he was before. We better find someplace safe for these people, Pods. Gohan, wake up. At least they're alive. the deal. He looks like a little kid. I bet I could beat him up now. I have a feeling that would be a really bad idea. And we move on to chapter 11. Kid Boo. Boo is changing, but into what? Oh no, he's changed back to normal. We're doomed. What do you mean he's turned back to normal? Do you know something you haven't told me? This is Boo's original form, you see. Many eons ago, the Supreme Kai's were enjoying a long reign of peace under Dai Kaio, our benevolent leader. Although we had enjoyed a period of harmony, a period of great disharmony was to follow. We had no way to prepare ourselves for the evil creation that the Wizard Bibbidi was about to unleash on the universe. It was Majin Buu in his original form. One by one, the Supreme Kai's fell to his terror. I too would have perished, however, I was saved by Daikaio. I'll never forget what happened next. Who absorbed Daikaio?
It was Dai Kaio's innocent purity that transformed Boo from a ruthless killing machine into a frolicking, rotund child. I see. So absorbing Dai Kaio actually weakened Boo. That's correct. Without the influence of Dai Kaio's goodness inside him, he's pure, unrestrained evil. This is bad, Vegeta. Real bad. Boo is more powerful now than ever before. Now that is a subject that has been widely debated, whether Kid Boo is stronger than Super Boo after he absorbs Gohan, but Kid Boo is, in my opinion, the more dangerous of the two, regardless if he's more powerful or not. Let's not stand around and talk about it all day. If, let's do something about it. We have to get as strong as possible if we're going to defeat him. And we, ha we have our next objective, train to prepare for the final battle with Kid Boo. When we're done, we return here to confront him. But, we're not ready quite yet and there's a few things left for us to do. Mainly small little things, but we're going to save that for the next episode. So, next time on Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury, we're going to go exploring around a little bit more and get a few small things done. But not, nothing too major. So, with that done, I'll end it off here. And see y'all next time for some more Dragon Ball Z Who's Fury. Later!